so in this video I'm going to show you back muscle exercises. I think it's going to be one, two, three for the upper back, uh, another two, if you count the whole stand four for the lower back, and then one that incorporate, incorporates excuse my English, incorporates all of them together. So one, two, three, four, five, including the whole seven, eight exercises for the back muscle. So what do we do to do our back muscles? We get on the ground. So lie on the ground and the first thing that we're going to do is actually for the upper back. So we're going to go ten, when your, our hands are like this, 10 when our hands are like this behind your back and 10 with the hands are in front. So, yes, let's go 10. I'm, I'm challenging myself, let's go 10. So, we're gonna start. And if you want it a bit easier, you can put your toes underneath something like this here. So I'm gonna first show you five when your my feet are like this. Keep your legs on the ground, that would be Perfect. If you could keep them on the ground, if you can't, it's okay if you lift them up a little bit, not too much. Or if you want more lifting in your upper back, then put your legs somewhere, either underneath a radiator or, a, well, I wouldn't recommend a chair. You're going to pull the chair up and then everything's going to crash. So I wouldn't recommend a chair, but a couch is good. Couch is very good. So, let's start. And I'm... I'm going to show you, and uh, you do not have to go as up as I do, because I've had some practice. So, I'm first going to show you like this. So, let's go 10. Here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know what? Let's go only 5. When you're doing it at home, go for 10. 10 each minimum, but when I'm doing it here right now, I'm going to keep everyone's time together and only do five. So that was the first one. The second one is a bit trickier. We started with the easiest one. So hands here. Put them behind your back like this and let's go up again. One, two, three, four, five. And see, I'm cheating. I'm a bad cheater. So I didn't completely put them together like this, I put them like this. And that's okay. As long as they're up here, it's all okay. So the last one for the upper body part is keep your hands in front. You can put them like this as well. This is easier, but at least keep them in front of you. And let's go five again. One, two, three, four, five. See? And I'm going to show you. I'm just going to show you, and then we're going to move to the other ones, what it looks like if you put your toes underneath something like a couch. I, wouldn't, I still don't recommend a chair. So, if you put it like this, you pull it, you pull yourself more up with your lower body as well. So, if we go like this, it's completely up, like this, or this, or this. You know, but I wouldn't recommend it, see, because I'm destroying the couch. <laughs> so, and it's a bit harder, it's a bit better if you don't rely on something to keep your toes under, if you do everything on your own. So, next, let's do five with the lower body. Now, important, keep your upper body down on the ground. Don't let it go up on the ground. And first, straight legs. And we're just going to lift them, actually. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to hold. One, two, three, four, five. And again, it's okay if you can't go up like this. It's, you can go a few millimeters as long as you're working. Like you can go like this. It's completely fine. At least try. So, now we're going to... Get our toesies. Yeah, that sounded bad. Our toes up and keep them together. If you keep your knees together, it's harder. So I'm gonna cheat again. 
I'm a bad cheater who cheats, and I know. So, again, let's go five. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, tired, I know. So, for the last exercise, I'm going to show something that incorporates both the upper body and the lower body. So, we're going to go three crosses. And then we're going to try to bring it together. So, and what I mean by three crosses is lie on your ground, on the ground like this, hands front, legs up. And we're going to go three crosses. One, two, three. If you can't do it like this, then you can do something. Okay? Three crosses. One, two, three. And then we're going to bring the upper body back and the knees together like this. So, I show you the exercise now. Let's do five in a row, okay? Whew. Breathe in, breathe out, mentally prepare yourself, and let's go. One, two, three, first. One, two, three, second. One, two, three, first. One, two, three, fourth. One, two, three, Fifth. Good job. Oh, good job to me. Good job to, to you for look, looking at my weirdness. And if you try, at least try to follow along, that's the most important thing. At least try. So, <laughs> working out has to be fun. It can't be a chore because if it's a chore, you're not going to do it. Make it fun for yourself. However, you can make it fun. So. When doing these exercises at home, I suggest at least 10 of each. 10, so 10, 10, 10, leg rises 10, hold 10, put bent legs 10, hold 10, and then crisscrosses 10 as well. And you're going to end up with a gorgeous back. Okay, so thank you for watching my little video. I hope I gave you some hints, tricks you know, variation, something fun to do, a little bit of an idea how to actually work on your back muscles. So, thank you so much for watching me. I hope you had fun. I had. That's why I'm here. I'm here to have fun. So, <laughs> exercising has to be fun. That's the basic thing. Exercising has to be fun and you have to like, want, you have to want to do it for you to do it. So, thank you for watching me. Thank you for watching my little video. <laughs> And I hope to see you again back soon. So, bye. Bye. <laughs>